Welcome back everyone, we're going to be doing another quick, uh, it's not going to be quick, it's going to be full in-depth comparison between the iPhone 6s and the newly released iPhone SE 2, iPhone SE 2020, whatever you guys want to call it. Now the iPhone SE 2 is on the left, the iPhone 6s is on the right. Now before I get too far in this video, I am giving away an iPhone SE 2. It is the product red one. If you guys want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All those things are linked down below so you guys can check them out from there. Now the most immediate thing between both these phones and the biggest difference but like probably besides the speed and everything would probably be the price. The iPhone 6s you know isn't costing the full retail value when it came out first. You can pick these things up for less than $150. You can get them on Amazon all day for less than that and I'll link one down below if you want to get it from there. I don't know why you'd want to pick up an iPhone 6s right now. But an iPhone SE 2020 is costing about $399. It has not gone down in value yet because it hasn't been out for that long. Once it's been out for like a month or two, and then we can start, you know, seeing some depreciation in prices. But definitely if you have all the money in the world, pick up an iPhone SE 2. It is a worthwhile upgrade for sure between these two. It's a much better phone, better screen, believe it or not, better build quality. A lot of cool things that you're going to be getting from an iPhone SE 2 that an iPhone 6S just doesn't have. But... The 6S still has a couple of cool things which makes it a pretty, still a pretty decent pickup in 2020 and I'll explain throughout this video but looking on the front you can see they have 4.7 inch panels on both and they kind of look the same to be honest but looks can be deceiving. The screens are the exact same resolution, the same really everything but there are some pretty big differences already. The iPhone SE 2 has that True Tone technology which is a pretty big deal and it's kind of hard to tell from the screen itself but basically with this screen technology it just adds a little bit of warmth to the display so it makes it look a little bit warmer and it looks more it just looks better in my opinion which is nice now some people don't like it so they can disable it and when you disable it it looks something like the iPhone successes screen but still I think the true tone technology is a really cool feature and I really really do like it now the iPhone success does have something that the iPhone SE 2 doesn't have and that's force touch so you can force touch into the, you know an app and get some more features that way but the iPhone SE 2 still has haptic feedback so you can't like force touch into the screen we still have a couple things here and there which is still perfectly fine for a lot of people. They both have quite a bit of bezel on the front. There is no white version of the iPhone SE 2 which I think a lot of people might not even care about but still something to consider at the end of the day. On the bottom, lightning ports. The iPhone 6S does have a headphone jack though which some people might like. Me personally, I really don't care anymore but again that is something some people might prefer so that's really really cool. And on the back you can see a glass back on the iPhone SE 2 and the standard aluminum back on the iPhone 6S. Single camera setups on both. A really, really cool thing though. The iPhone SE 2 does have wireless charging, which is extremely cool. The iPhone 6S does not have anything like that, so kind of a sad thing, but just keep that in mind. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't even put wireless charging in a phone like this. It didn't come out until two years after on the iPhone 8, but it is what it is. We're not going to freak out about it too much. Now, the iPhone SE 2 does have IP certification. It has IP67 dust and water resistance. The iPhone 6S doesn't have any certification like that, so if you dip it in water, I've heard that you can, you know, get by with it a little bit, but apparently it doesn't work every time, so I would probably say away from water on a success but you can dip your iphone se2 in water just in case you know if you get in some water on it i think you'll be fine for the most part it is certified for it so in terms of the outside and the way it feels definitely the iphone se2 feels better it looks better it kind of you have that black on white which is really nice even the side feels better on the iphone se2 in my opinion well actually i take that back they're about the same definitely think the iphone se2 looks better though for sure so that really pretty much covers it up on the outside now hitting on the software the iphone success first of all the iphone se2 just got released so it's going to be getting ios 13 it's going to be getting multiple versions of software it has the same chipset as the 11 pro and the 11 pro max so it's pretty much going to be lasting as long as those phones which is really cool so this phone is going to be lasting for a very long time whereas on the iphone 6s bro this thing started off with ios 9 we are able to get ios 13 on it which is really cool but no other versions of software on top of that. But we really don't know whether it's getting iOS 14 or not. It's really like 50-50 at this point. If I had to say, maybe you would get it, but we really don't know at this point. So at that, it's like 50-50. And I think the SE, the original SE and this one could probably support it, but we really don't know, which is the sad part. But a cool thing is, is that this phone does support the check ring jailbreak. So if you want to jailbreak your phone, you have that capability on an unpatchable jailbreak, which is really cool. So you can always do it on this phone where you don't necessarily have it just yet. On this one, maybe it'll probably never come out, but we really don't know. So in terms of software support, definitely the iPhone SE 2 is definitely going to outlast the iPhone 6S by a long shot. But I do think the iPhone 6S, you know, still can handle its own for a little bit longer. So if you have a success, just because this one will last longer doesn't mean you have to update now. This one is still supported for the time being, so... 
With that being said, let's go and do a little bit of a speed test. Now, this is not going to be a full in-depth one. I'll be doing a full in-depth one very soon, but to kind of say some of the specs, the iPhone 6S has the Apple A9 chip, a dual-core CPU, and a couple different models of this phone with 2 gigs of RAM each, where the iPhone SE 2 has an Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and a couple different models with 3 gigs of RAM each. So, let's go and see which one is the faster phone between these two. Okay, I'm going to go and clear all the apps in the background between both of these. Okay, let's load up the App Store. 3, 2, 1. And you can see iPhone SE 2 already ahead. And even to get into like the scrolling thing seemed to take a long time on the iPhone SE, on the success for some reason. But definitely when you're scrolling through, it looks so much smoother on the iPhone SE 2 for sure. Phone, 3, 2, 1. I think it was faster there. It was pretty close though. Let's go and load up like Apple.com or something. 3, 2, 1. And you can see how much faster it was on the iPhone SE 2 for sure. Scrolling through, again, faster on the iPhone SE 2. Let's load up these third-party apps. Twitter, 3, 2, 1. Again, faster on the iPhone SE 2 for sure. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Faster on the iPhone SE 2. Fruit Ninja, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, definitely faster on the iPhone SE 2 by a long shot again. And then we eventually get into it on the iPhone 6S. Stack, 3, 2, 1. And you can see even to load into the ad, way faster on the iPhone SE 2. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And again, faster on the SE 2. And I might like overhype it a little bit, but it's just so much faster on the SE 2 in my opinion. At least it's noticeably faster. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. I accidentally hit the camera there. And you can see, definitely getting faster on the SE2. Already loaded on that phone. The success eventually we'll get into it. Definitely faster on the SE2. Let's go and end it off with Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. And we did have to download it on the SE, on the success. I'm not really too sure why that happened. But we'll go and load up a single app again. We'll do the original, we'll do Snapchat. 3, 2, 1. And I mean, no matter how many tests I do, obviously the SE2 is going to win every single one. It is the faster phone at the end of the day, which is really, really good. So that was that quick little speed test. I'll be hitting on the cameras briefly too, but I'll do a separate camera test at some point too. And they both have single camera setups and they're both 12 megapixel sensors. They both can do 4K at 30, which is nice, but this phone, the SE2 can do 4K at 60, which is really cool. The 6S only can do 4K 30, which is still good enough, I think, for a lot of people. And the camera quality on this is still really nice, but the SE2 will have the better camera quality. Not only do you have portrait mode and things like that, but you also have the newer additions in that A13 Bionic, which is a really cool thing. So for sure, at the end of the day, the SE2 is going to be bringing the better camera. When well, you have OIS in this camera, you do not have it on this camera, which is, you know, a pretty big deal, I think, in this day and age. It's like a necessity for a lot of phones. And you can definitely see a difference there. So in terms of the camera, definitely the SE2 is going to win. On the front, 5 megapixel sensor on the 6S, 7 megapixel sensor on the SE2. Both can do 1080p at 30 though, so not like a crazy big difference. But definitely at the end of the day, the SE2 is the better camera sensor at the end of the day. Now I'm ending it off with the battery life. 1,715 million power battery on the 6S. 1,821 million power battery on the iPhone SE2. And definitely at the end of the day, this phone is going to be giving you much better battery life. The SE2 is going to be having not only the better battery because of the better chipset, but also because of the bigger battery. And the 6S was just never known for having the best battery life. You know, it kind of had pretty sloppy battery life in the beginning of Human Sense of was released. So definitely at the end of the day, I'll side for the SE2 having the better battery life. And honestly, I'm going to end this video the same way I started it. The SE2 is by far the better phone by far. I mean, it is the better phone. It has so much value. It brings so much more to the table. But I think at the same time, if you were to hold on to your success a little bit longer, I don't think you really would see it that much. If you wait until like June or July to see if this phone gets iOS 14, then I think you would probably be, you know, okay with it at the end of the day. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be like a deal-breaking thing, but definitely if you pick up an SE2, you'll see that bigger difference. You'll have a better phone at the end of the day. But like I said, I think the success for a lot of people will still be okay for a majority of things that you're going to do with it, so... However, if you want to go upgrade, I would say go for it, but an iPhone 10 in the, on Amazon is costing for about the same price as this thing, which I'll probably tell you, dude, that phone might be a better value than this thing in some ways. 
that phone, this phone is going to last longer and it might be a little bit faster, but the iPhone 10 still has a lot of value in it too. So I'll tell you that pretty much covers it at the end of the day. I'll link all these phones in the description if you want to pick them up from there, but that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So I mean so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I really appreciate if you guys to check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.